Hello developers. In this video, I am going to show you how I have verified my old Play Console developer account. If your Play Console account verification is pending, then you will receive a notification like this on your Play Console account home page 60 days before the deadline. If you haven't received any notification and you want to know your account verification deadline, then click on this account details option. If you don't find this account details option means your play console account was already verified and safe. But if your account was not verified then you will see the message in the account details page with the verification deadline and from when can you start verifying your account. For me I can start account verification from September 20 and the deadline to complete the verification is November 19. Actually, this is my old Play Console account created on 2017 and with the updated Play Console requirements policy, all the existing Google Play developers have to verify their accounts before the assigned deadlines. If not verified, then the developer profile and all the apps published through the developer account will be removed from Google Play. So this is the mandatory procedure that all the developers should finish to safeguard their Play Console developer accounts. And this video clearly explains the step-by-step -step procedure to verify your Play Console developer account. And if you have created your developer account recently, then you can finish your Play Console account verification by watching this video. I will give the link in the description box. Okay, let's get into the actual video. Click on get started here. These are the steps you are going to complete in the process of verifying your developer account. Confirm your account type, link a payments profile, provide account information and provide public and private details that are shown as part of your developer profile. Okay, click on start. First step, choose an account type. If your account is for an organization or business, then click on this first option, organization account. Else, if your account is for personal use, then select this personal account option. Click next. Link a payments profile to verify your identity. This payments profile is critical to the creation and verification of a Play Console developer account. Google Play uses your payments profile to verify your legal name and address. So click on this option, create or select payments profile. If you already have a payments profile created and that profile has the right information like proper name and address, then you can select that listed payments profile or else if the information is not correct, like the address has changed or name got updated as per the latest government issued ID card, then select this option, create new payments profile. I had a payments profile created at the time of this Play Console account creation. That was the old one. It has wrong address and wrong name as per my Aadhaar and passport. My name was mentioned as Sureka Bogi instead of Bogi Sureka. So if I have to verify my identity with the proofs, then I should mention my name as per my address proof that I am going to submit for the verification. So I am selecting this option, create new payments profile. Click on continue. Here we are creating a payments profile. Give proper details because these details have to match with your ID proof and address proof documents. Give the name as per your ID proof, which you are going to upload in the next step. Fill in the address also in the given fields. After entering all the details, click on save. So these are the details considered for your payments profile. So verify once again, confirm the info and click next. Here you have to enter your website address. If you don't have a website, then simply select this checkbox. I don't have a website and click next. Here you have to enter the details for Google to contact you. This information differs between personal accounts and organization accounts. Here I am showing you for the personal developer account. If yours is an organization account, then you will have to enter some additional information like organization type, organization size, organization phone number and website and organization's DUNS number as part of creating your payments profile. 
The clear details are mentioned in this Play Console Help Center page. I will give this link for your reference. So here I have entered contact name, I have verified email address and I have selected my preferred language for communication and entered the contact phone number. This phone number won't be shown on Google Play. This is just for the verification purpose only. But this phone number you need to enter in the specified format only. Include plus symbol, country code and area code. I have entered plus with my country code 91 followed by my 10 digit mobile number. Now you will have to verify your phone number also. Enter the 6 digit code that was sent to your mobile number. Click on verify. Ok done. If you could not verify your phone number then check this developer support page for frequently asked questions. I will give this link in the description box. Ok now click next. Enter the email address that will be shown on Google Play for the end users to contact you. Here I am giving my developer account email id only. Click next. Ok, this is the information that will be shown on Google Play as part of your public developer profile. Your legal name and country along with your developer email address. But if you choose to earn money on Google Play, your full legal address will be shown publicly. So inside app support under about the developer section, these details will be displayed in the Google Play Store. So acknowledge the info and click on save. Okay, it says Google is processing the information you provided. Immediately after refresh, it changes the status to verify your identity. So this is the last step. Click on get started. What you will need for verification? An ID to verify it's really you. Accepted documents, driver license, passport, PAN card or voter ID. Then you will need a document showing your name and current address. A government issued document or photo ID, a utility or phone bill, a bank statement or a lease or mortgage agreement. Take the photos of your ID proof and address proof and keep them ready. Now click on start verification. First step, verify your personal identity. Enter the exact same name from the document. So enter the name under legal name field. Next upload your ID. Select the ID type, any one of these. Make sure your name and picture is clear in that photo ID. Here it is mentioned Aadhaar cards are not accepted. So you can't upload Aadhaar cards. So upload the selected photo ID proof. Here I am uploading my passport photo page where my name and photo are visible. This is in JPG format. Ok, my proof was accepted. If you are getting any error here, that means you are uploading wrong ID proof or your picture was not clear enough or your name was not readable in that image. So upload the proper photo without any reflections and glare. Click next. In this second step, you will have to verify your address. So first enter your address. This address has to be same as the address you entered for the payments profile in the first part of the video. Ok, come down. Upload the address proof. I will give one small tip here. Take the doc or ID as proof where your name, picture and address are clearly mentioned. Don't take PAN card as address proof because it doesn't have address on it and other also not accepted as address proof. If your driving license has the proper permanent address mentioned on it, then you can take that as address proof. But always the best choice is passport if you have. Take the pictures of the photo page and address page, then add them into a PDF file. If you don't have passport, then you can take any of these mentioned documents as address proof, but it should have the same legal name and address you mentioned above. Okay, I uploaded my passport as my address proof. Okay, it was accepted. Now click on submit. Oh, it says verification successful. 
Thanks for submitting your information. Your verification was successful. Check your email for more details. I thought the verification will take time but it got accepted immediately. Okay, good. Click on got it. Oh, but here it says Google is verifying your identity. Documents were uploaded so that Google can verify your identity. The account owner will receive an email when the verification is complete. This may take a few days. Okay, let's check for the mail. Yes, I have already received a mail from Google Play Console. Your identity has been verified. Okay, we'll do one thing. We will refresh this page. Yes, the account verification message was removed from my home page. That means I have verified my account successfully. And the account details option also gone from this menu options. So when I go to developer account, I can see all my developer account details here. And in my play console inbox, I have received this message. Your identity has been verified. So if you upload the proper documents and details, then the Google verification will be done immediately without any wait time. So to keep your developer account and the apps secure and safe, please finish your account verification by the assigned deadline. Hope this video was helpful for you to finish your account verification. If yes, leave a comment, like the video and subscribe to IRECA Tech Solutions. Thank you.